the court has given a fresh order in the Ripple vs. SEC lawsuit. By the way, is XRP ready to hit the moon? Moreover, SBIVC Trade, a crypto exchange business and subsidiary of the Japanese financial giant and Ripple's partner SBI Group, has forecast an XRP increase to $0.62 cents in its latest market report. Finally, can the SEC's case against Ripple's leaders be revived despite the court's ruling? Stick with me till the end to find out more. If this sounds like something of much interest to you, be sure to check out this new video starting now. Hello everyone and welcome to our channel where we talk about the latest changes on XRP and the cryptocurrency world in general. If this is your first time watching one of our movies, we happily send you a special welcome. We invite you to hit on the warning bell so you never miss another video. We are sharing that this channel has a giveaway of 200 XRP. To stand the chance of partaking, all you have to do is simply subscribe to the channel. Like this video and comment with the hashtag XRP and the winner will be revealed on the 31 ST of October. Judge Annalisa Torres, the ruling judge of the SEC vs Ripple case, has requested the party suggest a joint briefing schedule for the remedies phase. According to an order shared by prominent expert James K. Phelan, the SEC and Ripple have until November 9th to suggest the schedule. But if both sides don't agree, together, they will ask the court to set up a hearing. The next step in the SEC vs Ripple case is the remedies briefing, which is important to note. The next step will decide what punishments should be given to Ripple Labs for breaking federal securities rules by selling XRP to institutional clients. It is important to note that the SEC said Ripple sold XRP worth more than $770 million to large businesses in the US and other places. Ripple's business sales are the only ones that will be fixed because the court. It was decided on July 13 that the deal is an investment contract. At the same time, the court agreed to the SEC's request to move the trial against Ripple officials to a later date. The final pre-trial meeting on April 16, 2024, and the trial on April 23, 2024, have been signed off. Judge Torres ruled that the dates set out in the court's order from October 3, 2023, are no longer valid. Notably, the latest order comes soon after the court agreed to drop the SEC's claims against Brad Garlinghouse and Chris Larson, two executives at Ripple. The SEC said in a complaint filed on December 22, 2020, that the individuals accused helped Ripple break Section 5 of the 1933 Securities Act. Some crypto fans think that Ripple might have to pay the whole amount as a fine since the value of its business sales of XRP is about $770 million. That being said, lawyers like John Deaton and other top lawyers don't think Ripple will pay that much. In the case, the lawyer for more than 75,000 XRP holders said that Ripple would ask the court to exempt on-demand liquidity transactions and other reasonable business costs, such as salaries and travel costs. To make his point even stronger, lawyer Deaton said that the SEC had asked the offender in the LBRY case to pay $23 million in fines. Following an eight-month-long court case, the SEC wanted a $130,000 fine. Eleanor Terrett, a reporter for Fox Business, recently told the XRP community that the penalty phase is likely to be a big fight between the two sides. According to people who know about the situation, Tarrant said that the SEC will still want a big payment for the bragging rights, even though Ripple may agree to lower the fine. It would be great if you could subscribe to our station and hit that notification bell so that you are the first to know about new XRP developments. A lot of people are excited about XRP lately because of the popular crypto trading site Bitru. A few days ago, Bitru asked the XRP troops if they were ready for the much-anticipated bullish XRP wave. Are we all set to send XRP to the moon? This is what the exchange said in the post on the X site. Unlike Bitru's other posts on X, the XRP moon got a lot of attention from people who like XRP. A lot of people said yes, they had been waiting for XRP's moon. It's interesting that people who use the Bitru trading site have put more faith in Batru's XRP moon hint. 
most people who trade XRP derivative contracts on BitRu thought the price of XRP would go through the roof. On the exchange's homepage, it said that BitRu users hold more than $783 million in XRP USDT futures options. It turns out that more than 90% of traders who used BitRu started long positions for XRP. This means that traders are very confident about where the price of XRP will go in the next few weeks. Also, the chart below shows that users on BitRu who are optimistic about XRP have kept that view for the past 30 days. Other futures buyers, on the other hand, are not as excited about XRP as BitRu users are. Based on the open positions on eight centralized platforms, data from CoinGlass, the most important derivatives market tracker, showed that traders are a little less optimistic about XRP. Some of the platforms are Whoopi, BingX, OKX, BitGit, BingX, Bybit, CoinX, and Kraken. To be more specific, there are 48.9% long positions and 51% short positions on the market. Traders on the eight exchanges started long positions worth $1.30 billion and short positions worth $1.36 billion. These numbers show that there is almost no difference between people who are optimistic and pessimistic about XRP's results. Even though the bears are in charge, XRP is trading at $0.55 right now. In the last 24 hours, people in the crypto market have moved over $2 billion worth of XRP. The market value of XRP is about to go over $30 billion, as its success over the past week has been better by over 12%. In the report that came out on Wednesday, SBI VC Trade also talked about the latest events in the case between Ripple and the U.S. SEC. The report talked in depth about what happened after the July 13 decision and how that changed the price direction of XRP. Notably, XRP rose to its highest level in the year, 93 cents, on July 13 after the decision that it was not a property. The SBI VC trade report did say that this rally didn't last long, though, as XRP went back up all the way to the July 13 ruling. It tried to argue some parts of the decision, but lost.